Cheers, and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, it's the cherry smoked blueberry jalapeno sour. It's really, really getting, as it's aging more, it's getting better and better. And it was great to begin with, but it's just getting better. And that jalapeno, oh, I'm loving it. So yeah, that's gonna be my new go-to pretty much on a daily basis, or at least when I'm home. But what are we doing today? We're doing an unboxing, that's right, an unboxing of an EPH01 pH meter from Eric Hill, that's right. Yes, and I'm showing off a new camera. We'll show off that later, but yeah. Should notice it zooms in a little bit and uh, you know, everything else gets a little, uh, you know. So don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. I've got a little bit of a backstory on this and it's kind of entertaining. So when I was doing the kettle sour, I was using my Dr. pH meter, which you've probably seen me use before and talk about in calibration like years ago, but I could probably need a new electro. It's, you know, just kind of erratic, even though I recalibrated it several times, it's a little erratic. So it's probably the sensor and it's kind of going, it's seen better days and you know, and home brewing, you get all kinds of stuff on it. It's just, it's a mess and you're constantly cleaning things. So I was like, man, I really need to buy a new pH meter. And I'm looking and it's about 24, 48 hours later, I get an email from one of the pH meter companies that I trust, Eric Hill out there that makes a great product, gets awesome reviews. And I'm like, dude, this is perfect timing. And they're like, great, we'd like to work with you. I'm like, I would like to work with you. And it just worked out perfectly. So, and if you've been on Amazon and you've seen the Eric Hill meter, this one runs about 60 bucks. I know this one back in the day was around 30, but I don't think Dr. PH is really doing too much on those anymore. And Eric Hill does a lot of other types of lab work type of equipment. And that's kind of their thing. So yeah, the reviews on this is really, really, really good. And it's a really, really nice pH meter. It's cost effective. So you're talking around $60 usually on Amazon. And yes, I'll leave a link below. And yes, they gave me this one. And yes, the link will be an affiliate and you might toss me a nickel. So yeah, and it'll still cost you the same. <laughs> so we're gonna do an unboxing. That's right, and I'll show you the front, side, and the back. You can kind of get a good look at it, but it's a very, very nice pH meter and it comes with pretty much, well it does, it comes with everything you need. And I do mean everything you need and I'll explain that to you, okay? So you open it up, yeah, it's got a nice case. Everything's packed in that case. Significantly different size case, more stuff in this case. This one did come with batteries originally, okay? And they were like little watch batteries. So when I had to replace them, you had to run to your drugstore and see if you could find them. And yeah, I could order them off Amazon, but I needed them right away. So we open this up and as we open it, you'll see instructions are right on the front. That way you're not gonna miss out. You pop it open and there's a lot of stuff in there, which we're gonna go over that. But yeah, instructions are right here. You can, if you have eyesight problems like me, you can take photos and blow it up or if you need, let me know and uh, I'll be glad to email or find a link for the document, which you can print out. Makes it a lot easier to read. But this thing has, what's it called? pH auto calibration. Basically it's where you set it and you put it in each of the calibration fluids and it auto calibrates. You don't have to sit and press this, hold this, press this, hold this. I had to do that with this. Wasn't that difficult, but sometimes you had to do it a couple times. Yeah, over here, you do it once, bing, bing, bing. It expects you to put it in the right pHs and be done. And guess what? Sometimes when you buy that pH stuff, that powder stuff, and you mix it in the water, I don't know how many of you out there have not calibrated your pH meter or have never used a pH meter. That stuff never, ever dissolves well. It's a pain in the butt. You gotta keep the water a certain temperature. It's just a pain, it just is, okay? So, watch this. Eric Hill, because this is what they do. They do lab equipment type stuff like this. So they know what you're expecting. They even have a cool temperature probe that you can you know, point and shoot. Okay, I'm taking this out of the container and look, there's more stuff. Yeah, okay, and let me show you a little size difference here. I know she says size don't matter, but there you go. Yeah, I mean, beefy, definitely a little heavier. It did me right, okay? But this is gonna do me better. I wanna say it's point, zero one for you know the readings which is what i really like i love that because usually you pay over a hundred dollars for that this one's running around sixty dollars sometimes they throw little discounts in there but yeah for under a hundred bucks you can get a sweet sweet ph meter it's got this little piece 
hole here, piece here, whatever you want to call it, where you can put a string and hang it. I would keep it in the case just to be safe. And I'll give you a good look at it, okay? Yeah, beautiful. And up here, this is the battery compartment. Uses regular, typical AAA batteries. That's it, nothing special. This one over here used watch batteries. Had to go get some at a drugstore one time. I needed them right away and yeah, it wasn't something you could just buy anywhere. So that's what's really nice is that you can use just regular triple A's. I always have those on hand and double A's, things like that. I live in Florida, we have hurricanes, we have to have batteries. So yeah, this is your storage solution. It comes with it. Yeah, it's included. I had to buy a big old bottle of that stuff because that did not come with it. Okay? And that did come with one packet each of the little crystals you had to blend, but then you, yeah, no, no, no. This comes with all three vials. So you open the vials, you use them, you close them back up, and you have them again for future. And I'll see if I can get that close enough so you can see them. But yeah, you have your 4.0, you have your pH 6.86, and you have your pH 9.18. And for a later video, we'll do a video on how to calibrate it. We'll go over all the features and settings. And from my understanding, I have to hold one button for a second, and then I literally just take it and it reads each of the three, one at a time, and I'm done. That's it, it calibrates it. I'm ready to go, rock and roll. Yeah, that's like super, super simple. Ah, yeah, I'm just, I'm very happy. That's gonna save me a lot of time when I'm calibrating things because I'm looking to do a lot more kettle sours this year. I mean, I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of kettle sours. My son's already going, okay, make this. No, no, don't add this, add this, do this flavor. And I'm like, okay, okay, just give me some time. But you have um, measure the pH value in your solution, of course. You have your solution temperature. You have data hold, which you need, especially for me, because I'm taking photos of stuff. So you hit hold, you look at it and you go, yep, okay, everybody's good, yeah, especially when you're brewing with friends and things like that. Um, it can also calibrate, or not calibrate, but adjust for temperature variance. It says, okay, well, the temperature here, and this is what the pH reading, so really it's this. You can do Celsius, you can do Fahrenheit, of course. Um, power off memory functions, solution temperature compensation, that's what I was trying to think of the word. Auto calibration, which I was telling you about, cool function. Remaining power display, automatic shut off, in case you forget. Yeah, I'm guilty. Um, An automatic detection of measurement status. I'm not 100% sure on what that is. We'll go into that in the next video. But we're gonna do a lot of videos, not just about this so that you understand how to calibrate it and use it, but also when we're doing our brews and doing our kettle sours, I'm always taking readings. And like I said, this thing has been all over the place and maybe it needs a new, you know, sensor, but I don't want to spend more money on something that's old and banged up and been used. Yeah, beautiful, looks great. I'm very excited. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Even if you are just curious, I'll leave a link down below. Doesn't mean you have to go shopping and buy it, but click on it, take a look and check out the pH meter from, uh, I guess I should leave it open so you can see it a little better. It makes more sense from Eric Hill. I think you'll be impressed. Check out the reviews. The reviews are really, really good. Um, yeah, I've just, it's very impressive. It was on my, uh, I won't even say top 10. It was like on my top three list. So yeah, and most of the other ones were much more expensive. I was trying to justify, why is this one less expensive? Uh, there's, there's something going on. And there was another one that didn't have real good reviews that was cheaper. And I'm going, yeah, I don't think I want that one. That was like in the top 10, so. Yeah, I do that, I'm OCD. I get a list and I just start narrowing it down. And yeah, cheers, appreciate you, thank you.